Hi, I'm Garrett from Garrett's CNC, and I would like to give you a rundown of Bob CNC Evolution 4 or E4 CNC router. I want to talk to you about the customer service, the build, and how the machine runs, the pros and cons of everything. As far as customer service goes, Bob's CNC is like top notch. First of all, they're very responsive. They will call you back. I got called back in the evening once. Uh, their emails, they will personally respond to your emails. And um, they're, they're very quick at responding. Their shipments are overnight, always. So you always get something the next day. That you get emails when it's coming. and um, So that's all good. The packaging that this came in, for the most part, was good. It was a little bit loose, but everything was in good shape. So I was okay with that. The... Uh, videos they put out on YouTube, they're personal, they're homegrown, and you can just tell these guys just really want to help people in their hobby of CNC, or even if you get into production. And other videos that I saw, uh, other people have gotten this machine, they all seem to really like it. So I said, okay, it's a toss up. Do I want a metal frame machine or do I want to get this one? And I chose this one for the cost. For the bed size relative to cost, this will cut a 24 by 24 uh, size piece of material. A uh, comparable metal frame machine is going to cost uh, about $2,000 more. So that's what I went with. So overall, customer service was good, good reviews. Now let's talk about the build. Overall, this machine went together really well. Everything here is wood framing which really has kind of an artsy look to it very unique uh, quite rigid it took about eight hours to put this together and so you can expect about eight hours of time to make sure you put it together it's belt driven through uh, servos of course stepper motors and the instructions were clear all the way through. There are a couple little glitches, but you figure it out. The overall build was good. Now, let's talk about uh, a couple of issues during the build. The first one is there were a couple times when things didn't go together quite the way that they should have, and that's just, uh, I think, burrs in the wood as they were laser cut. Everything is laser cut. Also, assembling this, uh, this gets assembled first, the carriage here. However, you don't tighten the screws up until the very end. So this was a struggle to get in. I had to take things back apart, put them back together. And some of the screws actually came back out. They vibrated out. So I had to put them back in and put more Loctite on them. Uh, it's by nature of not understanding the instructions, really. It's more my fault. But the build was a lot of fun to put together. You got the controller, so you have the controller back here. What I don't like is the way the wires are, just the way they had me route the wires. It's just kind of loose. I like it a little bit tighter, but that's okay. Everything is pretty rigid. You can see there's a lot of ribbing on this machine, but there is some rigidity issue that if you want to do production work, this is going to be an issue for you. And I want to show you. So first of all, I want to move the machine into the center. So let's do a rapid move. It's got good rapid, by the way. All right. The carriage itself is rigid. It's a self-squaring carriage. It has a servo motor on either side, stepper motor. The torque, I gotta put position my camera right. So you can see this. If I try to torque this carriage back and forth, when, when this thing's cutting, there's pressure. You got the, the tool here, and if this thing's moving that way while it's making a cut, the tool is in the material, so there's resistance, right? The tool wants to go like that. So that torque is gonna pass up through the carriage. Now, if I go like this and push back and forth, there is a little bit of flex in the assembly. 
it, for the most part it's pretty tight but there's there's more flex than I want that I can live with but it's this side that's actually the issue that you want to consider if you're going to be doing production work is to flex this way now I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on it and if you watch you can see it moving back and forth and I'm I'll maybe put in about a pound maybe two pounds of pressure I'm going to say a pound so that flex when that thing's moving that way or that way and you got the the pressure of the cutter that's going to transfer back up into here and because that tension is going to be pushed into that it's going to put it back into your material when it comes to a re, uh, a, where the cut breaks away and it'll bounce back in so that may cause some surface issues uh, one of the things I want to point out with that is this is a quarter inch two flute spiral bit and I cut that you can see there's a little bit of a ridge there so there were, between the, the roughing and the finish cuts there's a deviation in the height even though the cuts are based on the program at the same height so it actually cut and this bit you can see that surface here is really crappy this is a straight two flute quarter inch bit and you see the end is burnt so it's cheesy bit so I'm not going to give it a lot of qual uh, uh, rating for the bit however you don't want to use this kind of straight bit whenever you can on this type of machine you want a spiral bit like that so of all the things that was the biggest issue concern I have because I want to do production the one other thing that's that's an issue on this machine of course when you're routing you have chips everywhere Bob CNC does not have an attachment to connect a vacuum to this and they should, probably should come up with something like that because it's really important the chips get everywhere over here let's do it on this side is the rail that's the guide rail for the carriage for the gantry and it's not protected from the chips so the chips end up on top of that so what that'll do that'll cause pressure on your rollers and on the framing and slowly over time I think that'll cause some wear the way I fixed that real quick, it was a super, super quick fix, is I took a piece of painter's tape, taped it right across the top, and that seemed to tone down that chip buildup quite a bit. Most of it I've wiped off already, so you can find some there, you can see some up there. I had a lot more build up there, it was actually smashing on there and sticking to it. So you also got chip build up on the belt, and I don't. that's not going to be as much of an issue in there, because the V... The, the grooves on the belts are on the bottom, so that's not going to pick up. You can see chips there. That's the biggest concern I have, and the vibration. So one thing I haven't done yet was check repeatability on the machine. That means program it to go back and forth to the same points over and over again and see how close it gets to each point. They say that the tolerance on this is 2,000s, which is quite adequate for woodwork. Overall, I give this machine a good thumbs up for the hobbyist. For a production worker, I would not buy this machine. I would buy a metal frame machine. So as a wrap up, if you're a hobbyist and you're interested in CNC routing, uh, as far as Bob's CNC, you have great customer service, great delivery. This is a, a brilliant design. It's a beautiful design. It's a lot of fun to put together and you'll learn a lot about it. It has a couple issues in it that I, that I didn't expect to have for what I'm wanting to do. I'll see if I can work around that though. We'll see. Uh, I think that you're probably going to have to maintain this a little bit more than other machines because uh, of the nature of the build and the way things are set together as far as rollers and, and the dust that builds up on it. Generally, overall, thumbs up for the, for the guy in the workshop, the father-son project, the mother-daughter project. Perfect machine. All right, Scarrett, please like the video and I would really enjoy comments and I will answer every comment. I've been in machining all my life as part of my engineering and I will be more than happy to answer CNC type of questions for you, whether it's laser, whether it's uh, machining like this and uh, yeah, happy machining. It's a lot of fun to create stuff like this. We will talk to you next time.